Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday. Hi, honey. I'm on live. It's my puppy, Prince. What's up? This is Actors Daily Bread. I'm Christine Horn. Thank you for checking in to my replay watchers. What's up, replay watchers? I just wanted to give you a shout out. I just finished doing uh, my morning pages. Any of you familiar with Julia Cameron and the artist's way? I'm a big believer in morning pages, which is basically, um, it's journaling, basically. Um, but you write three pages at the top of the day and you just write, you just write, you just write, you just write. Um, so yeah, it's like med it's, it's like written meditation for me, a written prayer. Um, anyway, I just finished doing that here at the kitchen table. And I just wanted to share something with you before I head out. Um, I was thinking about um, this book I'm reading. You know, I'm always reading a book. So there's a book called, there's a book called The Greatest Salesman in the World. It's by Og Mandino. This particular book I'm holding is a trilogy. It's three books in one. But the author is Og Mandino. There we go. And The Greatest Salesman in the World. It's by far one of my favorite books. And at first you're like, what, what, I, what do I care about sales? Um, and I believe for me as a business person, I need to know about that. But it turned out not being just about that at all. Um, it's really a book about just your habits and being excellent and living a life that is purposeful, meaningful and and so it, it talk, the book has these scrolls. It's, it's written like back in the day. And there are these scrolls, which are basically principles and philosophies. And so the way this book that I have, um, it suggests that you read one scroll for 30 days straight. It's 10 scrolls total, but you read one scroll each day, twice a day for 30 days, and then you move to the next one. But I'm not going deep into that. But what the scroll, I'm on scroll number one because I'm in my 30 days of that. And one thing I just wanted to share with you is a line from it and see how it resonates with you. Um, and it talks about your habits. That's really the first one. And it made me think about as actors and as, as a human being, what are my habits daily? What are the habits that I have? And there's a line, what, I, what, what I'm what i forced to repeat in this first scroll is, is basically my actions are ruled by appetite Therefore, if I must be a slave to habit, let me be a slave to good habits. We all have habits. And, some, you know, the word slave may throw you off a bit. But at, at the core of it, we are a slave to our habits. And they're either good habits or bad habits. Like either you floss every day or you don't and you have dental issues. Either you work out twice a week or twice a day and your body reflects that, your health reflects that. You eat fried chicken every day, a hot wings every day or you eat vegetables, or you find the balance. And I think that, I just wanted to leave you with that. And so something that it's an affirmation I repeat is I will form good habits and become their slaves. I will form good habits and become their slaves. So for you, it might be something as simple as in relation to your acting career, it might be something as simple as, you know what? I haven't been getting enough auditions. Ooh, like, you know how you try to go live and like people decide they want to roll their carts. Are you done? He's done. <laughs> okay. It's Saturday. That's why I have to get out the house. I have to literally work at the library because it's so much, you know, people are doing their Saturday thing. But when you think about your acting career, you're like, okay, what could I be doing differently? What am I not doing? Okay. I'm not reaching out to enough people during the week. I'm not reaching out to enough casting directors. I'm not networking. I'm not practicing scripts. I'm not doing this. So that's a bad habit, right? That's what you consider a bad habit. So why, how can you replace that habit with a good habit? So you, your replacement might just be once a week, every Sunday night or every Saturday morning, I am going to read a monologue, right? Hi, Millicent. Millicent, go lady, keep going. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. You know, I just got to wait for the people. You know, they got somebody over there doing construction. It's all good. I just wanted to make sure I got here with you guys. Um, but think about, be honest with yourself. Only you can take inventory what, about what you're doing in your own life, your day to day. 
And we have to take that responsibility, right, for our own lives and for our own careers and be honest and be like, am I really doing all that I can? And more times than not, the answer is no. The answer is no, we're not doing enough. Um, hi, Tanika. Hope the surgery is going well and went well. Um, thank you for watching. Hey, and if you... Um, watching the replay, you can always ask me a question or leave a comment. But I just want you to challenge yourself today. I'm not gonna I'm make this short since we have all this noise out here, is to think about what you can do this week coming. Maybe marinate on it tonight, marinate on it tomorrow, and be like, what can I do next week that I haven't been doing for my career or for my life? Like for me this morning, I finally got around to doing some, some yoga at the house. Hang on. Can you hear me? Somebody let me know if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I see two people watching. Can you just let me know if you can hear me so I'm not talking to myself? Somebody, somebody, let me know. All right, I'm gonna just keep talking and hope that you can hear me. Um, but that's just a challenge for the week. And so for me, I'll share my challenge with you. Uh, oh, good, 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 Tanika. I'm glad to hear it. Um, so for me this week, for me, mine was just getting up and doing my yoga in the morning because I've been working out. I've been, I walk the dog for two miles. I go to the gym and then I get really tight, you know, I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get that, <laughs> you know, the beauty is, <laughs> the beauty is it's, it's quiet right now, you know, for actors, just so you know, June is a very quiet month. You know, we're post pilot season. The episodics are about to start ramping up mid to late July. So this is a great time for you to reassess. This is a great time for you to think about what can I be doing? Do I need to get in shape? Do I need to start um, working on my scene study? Do I need to work with a coach? Do I need to take a class? This is the time. This is the time. This is the time to create stuff. So I want you to know if you are not in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, I'm going to type it here, Hollywood Bound Actors. Just look for Hollywood Bound Actors. Just type that in the search bar and join my Facebook group because that's my group of actors. And starting, we're doing a July challenge, a content creation July challenge. I haven't even announced it in the group yet. We've been playing with the idea and I've gotten some feedback from the group, which means we're going to challenge, I'm challenging all the members of my community and I have some really highly involved members. Shout out to you guys. But we're going to create our own content for the month of July. And it's, I can't tell you what it is. You need to join the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. And I'm challenging my, my community. So I want to challenge you as well. So that's something else you can be doing. So think about your habits. Be honest with yourself. And this not, doesn't have to just apply to acting. It can apply to your life. Are you drinking enough water? You know, it's getting hot out here. Hydrate yourself. Flush out your toxins. You know, my old health coach is coming back in. I used to be a health coach. So flush out toxins, feel vibrant, do whatever you need to feel at your best so that you can approach this career, that you can approach the day feeling awesome and not feeling groggy and tired and irritable, right? So like I said, I shared mine with you. You know, I like accountability. Post your comment here below. What are you going to change? What is one habit? I'm not asking you to change your whole life today, but what's one habit you think you can replace? Because we're either a slave to good habits or we're a slave to bad habits. So I would love to see your comments below, no matter when you want to put the comment in, now or later. But let me know, and I can hold you accountable. And I can be checking, hey, Tanika, did you do blank? Did you drink that extra glass of water? Or hey, Millicent, did you memorize that monologue? Or did you do that scene study? Whatever it needs to be. Um, but we have, we have habits, and we have a choice. And I just wanted to share that with you. So again, um, the book, my book for today is Og Mandino's um, The Greatest Salesman in the World. You don't have to get the whole trilogy. This has three, uh, two other books involved, but The Greatest Salesman in the World. And if you are a business, if you are in business, this is, I mean, it's one, one of my favorite books, but um, you know, I am, I am kind of a, I'm kind of a geek. I love to read a lot. Anyway, I'm going to get wrapped up and go to the library where there's quiet. <laughs> but have an amazing rest of the day. It's always a pleasure getting to talk to you. Tanika says, I'm going to eat better. Okay, cool. Well, you make, make your choice, decide what that is, and, and just stick to it. Small habits equal to big changes, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to cut everything out. You know, when I was a health coach, something we, we used to always say when, when, I, when I was in training was, we don't talk about what we can't have. 
right? Like if you like, I want to release 20 pounds, right? I want to release 20 pounds. Oh, I can't have this. I can't have hamburgers. I can't have fries. I can't have that. And we never say what you can't have. What we talk about is what can you add in? So if I add in more greens, if I add in more uh, fruit, if I add in more water, I may not have as much room for a burger in a large fry and a Coke. You see what I mean? So no one's saying you can't have it. Go ahead and have some. But you might not be able to have as much because you've already filled your body with such great nutrients from something else. So anywho, sidebar. Enjoy your Saturday. Always a pleasure to talk to you all. Have a great day. Bye.